Well, tonight, friends and family of Kane Coronado are gathering to remember the 18 year old who was shot and killed Tuesday afternoon in Wyoming. They're coming together through one of Coronado's favorite activities, biking. 13 on your sides, Micah Cho joins us now live from Wyoming. And Micah, there's a candlelight vigil that's happening soon. Drive that Kane Coronado was shot and killed on Tuesday afternoon, and it's at this same spot where his friends and family are gathering to remember him. You may have noticed that we're in a little bit different of a spot than we were at five o'clock while we're about six miles away from Fish Ladder Park. We drove here, but about 30 of his friends are either biking or scootering to here at the vigil on Indian Mounds. We spoke with Todd Sturkin Jr. just before they pushed off for their bike trip. He told me it's an emotional feeling seeing all those who loved Coronado coming together for one more ride in his honor. These are just all people that really loved him and you can tell how many people's lives that he really impacted by how many people are here like you said people on scooters broken down bikes whatever it takes to get out here just to support him and his family it's uh, it's really meaningful. Tonight's vigil should only last about an hour. We'll bring you more from the people who loved Coronado coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. And we also reached out to the Wyoming Department of Public Safety to see if there's any updates on an, on this investigation. And they unfortunately said they have no updates at this time. For now, live in Wyoming, I'm Micah Cho for 13 on your side.